Do you want to build modern and beautiful SharePoint page? My name is Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. I will introduce you to modern web parts in SharePoint Online. SharePoint Online offers possibilities to build modern and beautiful pages which will manage the communication and collaboration inside your intranet or the portals or team site you want to build across your organization. Modern web parts that are available there allows you to build low-code, beautiful pages that will deliver great content for your end users. You don't have to be developer, you don't have to have technical skills to manage creation of the pages. The only thing you have to know is how to use available web parts and how to build pages using them. Today, I want to present you the most important, the greatest web parts that are available in SharePoint Online and show you how to use them to build beautiful pages. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe the channel. And now we will move to my screen. SharePoint Online offers great possibility to build modern and beautiful pages that can generate and deliver the content to your users. Today I would like to focus on the web parts that are used to build all the components presented in here. I will show you a few of them, which are the most important, how to use them, what kind of configuration you should use. You should remember that all these web parts are totally local, so you don't have to develop anything, you don't have to have developer skills to build the pages like this one. And all these web parts are delivered to you by design. When you're editing SharePoint page, there is this magic button that allows you to add the web parts to your SharePoint page. You can see there's a lot of web parts that display the content on the SharePoint page from perspective of the elements you have somewhere in the background or you can use. What is most important, all of these web parts have some kind of configuration behind, so it allows you to use the same web part different ways based on your scenarios. Now we'll switch to the blank page and I will show you a few web parts that are really worth to be known by you and how to use them to build beautiful page. When we're working from perspective of the empty page, you should know very basic web parts like image and text web part. Web parts are paste to the section, so if you will change that kind of section to the two columns section, then you can use two web parts at the same line to build your content. Using image web part gives you the possibility to insert the image to your page. And what is great, you can use stock images available somewhere in the Microsoft Cloud that are present to you and you can use it for the commercial use on your SharePoint page. So let's search for work and use the picture to insert it to your SharePoint page. Of course, you can upload your own picture. You can add text on top of your picture. You can see this is something that's looking much better. Moreover, you can decide how your picture will present from perspective of the size, crop the picture and decide where the text should be placed. You can see the final effect is quite good. Again, this is a very simple solution, but from my experience, having a lot of images is important. People prefer to take a look on the page and if your page will not look beautiful, then <laughs> they will move on. So use image web parts on your pages to make your pages more attractive to your end users. The next web part I want to show is something very basic, the text web part, which gives you the possibility to put the some kind of text on your page. If we will include the text in here, you have additional possibilities to style it based on your preferences, which is something very basic. It's like simplified the word experience, but remember about these three dots, which gives you the possibility for more advanced styling. Not every time this panel appears on the screen automatically, so remember about these three dots you can use to get access to the additional styling options. Again, this is super simple web part, but it's good to know that something like that exists. The next web part I would like to present you is again something very simple, the button. You can put the URL to the page in here and then do the label on top of that. 
Of course you need to put proper hyperlink to your page in here, but again it's very easy to visualize that kind of button using this functionality. Alternative for this kind of web part is call to action. This is the more advanced functionality that building more complex button and gives you nicer experience to your end users. From perspective of the call to action, you can add the text to your button, but you have additional header and you have additional possibility to change the background. Again, you will see this is very similar experience from perspective of finding the images. What is great, you can use the same picture, but you can use it a little different way. Use something called focal point, and then you can switch that kind of image a little higher. Thanks to that, you will get a little different user experience using the same styling or colors. One more thing which could be also quite useful for you from perspective of the options present there, you can align the buttons to the right side. You can compare how simple button versus call to action looks like. Again, both are great, both work perfectly well and they can be used but sometimes for different purposes. Let's create another section and change its color to make it a little different and now I will present you a few additional web parts that will help you make your pages much useful and deliver additional information to your colleagues. Let's start with the YouTube web parts. Very simple solution, it gives you the possibility to embed that YouTube video on your page. If your organization publishing videos on YouTube, then you can easily share that directly on your page. The only thing you have to do is to paste the URL to the YouTube video and then the video automatically will be loaded to your page. Very simple solution. Also, if you have the videos about your organization or some kind of public announcement that are present on YouTube, this web part will help you to move them to your SharePoint page. Another web part that is good to know about is the people web part. This is the one of the, my favorite web parts present on SharePoint. This is the web part to present the people from your team, from your organization or from the project. It's doing that very simple way and gives the possibility to navigate to the information about the chosen users directly from the SharePoint page. Let's see how it could look like. The only thing you have to do is to put the people's name or people's emails in the content of the web part. And thanks to that, you can present information about the people on your page. You have two models how that kind of information can be presented. Very simple one and more detailed. Whole card about the person information is presented on your SharePoint page. I highly recommend you to use this basic one. Why it's important? Because it gives you the possibility to navigate to the page and see the detailed information, contact information immediately about the person. Let's take a look how it looks like. We are on the published page and when you will move your mouse to the person listed in the people web part, you can get detailed information about the user. Of course, this is some kind of test tenant, but still in your organization, you will get the information about the organization structure, maybe to the LinkedIn profile, and you can navigate to the whole profile of that user. Super useful solution from perspective of sharing the contact information across the organization, really must have in case you're building your pages. Another web part that I want to present is the map web part. You can use Bing Maps to present the localization of the event or of your office. Very simple solution. It's Of course, it's not Google Maps, but again, if you have your organization present somewhere, you can use it to present exact localization of your office. You can paste here your address of your company or of your office and then easily present it on your map using Bing Maps. Something very simple, but at the same time, if you're building the pages for your events, your localization, it could be very useful for your end users. Let's move to another web parts that could be useful for you. In this case, let's try to use informations from SharePoint that are hosted somewhere in there. The most important and one of the most popular web part that is used on SharePoint Online is the news web part. This is the web part that aggregate announcements across the organizations. If the announcements are published there, you can see this is something that is already pushed to your intranet. You have multiple ways how that kind of announcements are published. All of them looks quite nice. And what is most important, 
if the data is already in the background. So if somebody publish your announcements, it's very easy to build on top of your SharePoint landing page that will present that. This is advice for you. Your landing page don't have to contain any kind of announcements, but if you connect your pages in the hub, then you can aggregate all that kind of announcements through the hub to your landing page. In the advanced features, you can, you can include additional information about the views and do additional filtering or order from perspective of which websites should be pushed on top of that. This is must have for you if you want to use SharePoint as an intranet portal or communication portal. Announcements are super important to be published on your SharePoint pages. And again, you have multiple ways how to publish them. Another thing, you can also use that kind of web part multiple times, like global organization announcements and C-level announcements presented in the different place by limiting the source of announcement to the specific site or to the specific people. The next web part, which is also quite important and used in the very similar way, is the hero web part. So the web part when you can build tiles that will highlight the content. Something like the view of the hub news or the tiles views. When you have the announcement, you can build something very similar, but putting the links to the very specific locations, but manually added hyperlinks in the background. If you will select the link, use the link, add the background image, top applications or top resources that you want to recommend to the users and build the call to action possibility. This is some kind of advanced top tiles that will work exactly like call to action. But if you will use that on the top of the navigation of your site, it could give you really nice user experience. Play with this web part, it's something worth to know about. To be fair, in the past I used that web part a lot, but I switched to the news to highlight the most important information this way. The last web part I would like to recommend for you is the quick links web part. This is something that I recommend you to use a lot. This is the simple navigation that can be included in your page content. Of course, you can use great navigation from a hub perspective or from the SharePoint site perspective, but at the same time, if you would like to navigate the user across any kind of content on the pages, you can easily done that using quick links. The web part offers you few available options how that kind of navigation could look like. So you will have multiple possibilities how to build that kind of navigation the way how you will prefer. Let's set up few links like this one and then see how that kind of navigation could present on your page. At first, of course, you need to add the link. Let's select any kind of pages here and select if you would like to get the thumbnail custom image. Again, you can use stock images provided for you by Microsoft. Or do you prefer to use an icon? You have multiple icons which you can use. So we will use few different scenario to show you how this looks like. Let me prepare a few links and then I will show you how that kind of navigation could look like. I build the links that can be presented on the page. You can see there are different ways how they can be visualized. It could be the file icon if you navigate the user to the specific file. It could be icon provided by Microsoft in the framework background or stack image which we can load from the picture settings. The way how that kind of links can look like are quite different. You can see in case of the bigger view, assigned picture to the specific content is automatically loaded, but at the same time, you can decide how that kind of solution could look like. We have multiple options here. I really like the film strip, which is more or less something like that, or the button option, which gives you possibility to build really nice navigation based on the simple buttons you can provide on the page. I highly recommend you to try that kind of solution to build the navigation inside your page. It could be navigation to the part of the content of existing SharePoint page or something that will navigate user to the totally different place. Let's see how something like that looks on the page. Thanks to the web part, you can build quite nice navigation based on the buttons or, or based on the icons slash pictures. You can see it is something that could focus your reader's perspective or the elements you want to highlight. Quick links, this is something I use all the time building SharePoint pages and I advise you to do the same thing.
Today I present you only the 10 web parts from all available on SharePoint Online. There are much more and there's no other way to get them now than starting to play with them. Build your pages, navigate through them. In the description of the video you will also find additional links that could be helpful for you from perspective of getting now the SharePoint web parts. Start to build beautiful SharePoint pages using modern SharePoint web parts. You can see using the SharePoint web parts is very easy. There are great solutions to build modern pages with advanced structure and also to present the information about the files, people or the announcements modern way with the great design. Start using modern web parts in SharePoint Online today, play with them, maybe use predefined templates and start to build your pages in the way that will be attractive to your readers and users and your colleagues. Also check other materials on the channel. You will find additional videos like introduction to the Microsoft Lookbook and other videos about the publishing process of the SharePoint pages. These are the elements that will help you to make your portals very professional and also does not require much technical skills on your site. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.